what are the units of grammar? Uh, when we discuss a language or when we use a language, the process we follow is to take smaller units and gradually build them up into bigger units and build those into bigger units and combine those into bigger units and so on and so forth. And so we start, say for example in English, we start with the um, um, 26 letters of the alphabet and we combine those, we combine those, we combine those some more and eventually we end up with Moby Dick you know a thousand page novel or uh, on a nonfiction side we end up with Edward, Edward Gibbons uh, an English historian we end up with his decline and fall of the Roman Empire which is like six volumes you know of 900 uh, 900 pages each so from those 26 letters by this process of combining into larger and larger units eventually we end up with this book that takes up oh about a quarter of a shelf at least on my bookcase so what are the and each of these we, we tend to classify these larger and larger units as different kinds of constructions so in grammar we're going to talk about four types of constructions and the biggest one and that we even use in the definition of grammar is the sentence okay that's going to be the biggest and then smaller on average is the clause smaller still on average is the phrase and then the smallest unit we're going to use in we're going to speak about in grammar is the word okay so we take let me change colors here we take words and we could take one or more word and we use it to build a phrase we take one or more phrases and use it to build a clause and we take one or more clauses and use it to build a sentence now on the smallest side it is possible to take one word come up with a phrase uh, then take that one word phrase and turn it into a clause under special circumstances special kind of clauses and then we take that one clause and we turn it into a sentence okay but in general words the smallest phrase is on average larger uh, clauses are on average larger than phrases and sentences are on average larger than clauses okay and these then from here to here are what we will study in grammar okay now um, just to kind of take the full continuum to show you where this is in context okay if we start with the sentence as the lowest unit we can combine uh, say in prose we can combine sentences into paragraphs we can combine paragraphs into sections we can combine sections into chapters we can combine chapters into novels or, or nonfiction books okay and that's the process of composition okay and we can also take a sentence and we can arrange it in a special way and create uh, or and combine them in a special way and we end up with stanzas and we take the stanzas and combine them uh, uh, again in another way and we end up with a poem poetry or we can take sentences and we can assign them to certain specific people to say and we can call those lines and then we can combine those lines together into a play and that would be drama so but all that's composition you start with sentences a sentence or a sentence and you combine that into something bigger and then going the other way 
with a word as the uh, largest unit we can discuss vocabulary so you take letters you combine letters into things we call roots or prefixes or suffixes and we can use those roots and prefixes and suffixes and we can use those to build words and so vocabulary is looking at um, the different letters and, and sounds okay we, we are all starting with a spoken you know all languages started out as being spoken so we start with sounds and 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 letters um, and we identify which ones are used in a language we identify new ones we build new ones we give rules for how you can build new ones and the vocabulary is constantly changing and at any given point in time people will collect a bunch of these words and build something called a dictionary which is a bunch of words in alphabetical order uh, with what they mean or how they're used okay so I think uh, let me words so in grammar we're going to talk about sentence sentences clauses phrases and words and um, and, and we might do something on uh, might do some videos on vocabulary and composition uh, oh several years from now after I've done all the videos that we can do on grammar because we can do a lot of videos on grammar so with that I will talk to you later